Once upon a time, a girl from the Bronx had big dreams of opening up a bookstore in her borough. And spoiler alert, she made it happen. Her name is Noelle Santos, and this is The Lit Bar. Can we start with chapter one? How did this all start for you? Because you are the only bookstore in the Bronx. I'm not proud of that fact, and it was in October 2014 that I learned that this was the only bookstore in a borough of over 1.5 million people and 10 colleges. I lit my life on fire to bring a bookstore to the Bronx. And is that why it is called The Lit Bar? Lit like literature and lit like the wine bar that we feature in the back. Before this, I was an accounting and human resources professional and I was comfortable, but I am free now. I wanna know about how you pick all of your different titles because yes, you have some books that I've seen in other places, but you also have titles that, you know what, I've never seen any of them. My community, we call ourselves book booze. <laughs> they tag me on Instagram and put me onto different titles. I work really closely with my publishing reps and I just keep my ears to the streets. You know, we're a general interest bookstore, but I want to be different by reflecting the community that actually operate in. So that means me listening to what my community is actually reading, what topics are front of mind, and then finding the literature that tells that story. Okay, show me around. Give me yes, a tour of your it. bookstore. Yes, so okay. when, as soon as you come in, you are just blown away by our shrine, our dedication to the late Toni Morrison. This is what's hot and what's popping right now. Oprah's Book Club of the Month, which we actually launched at Apollo Theater and Oprah was his conversation partner and I got to breathe the same air as her, it was awesome. This section right here is called Mind Right, Money Right. It's a play on the hip hop song. I got my mind right, money right, ready for war. Oh my God, I and love this so much. <laughs> so we took a play on that, but you'll find all throughout the store, we have a lot of odes to hip hop and quirky little things. We don't shelve traditionally. We want this to be a place of discovery. So you'll find poetry and next to that section, it's called Hip Hop is Poetry Too. Our classic section, in parentheses, it says not up for debate because not only will you find Art of War, you'll find Urban Fiction, which is a classic to our community. One of the challenges that I had in curating the store, particularly the children's section, was finding narratives where the POC little boy or girl was not struggling, was you know not just depicted as yes. a slave. We need those stories. Billy Blue, he's just stuck in goo. And that's it. He's not struggling, he's not bouncing a basketball, he's not learning how to deal with an absentee father. Those stories are important, but it's important that we just see ourselves being regular, regular, complex human beings. Noelle, you're never gonna get rid of me. I think I need to finish this wine. Let's do that. And go shopping. Cheers. <laughs>